When you decide to make a move and sell your house, it's pretty much a no-brainer that you want to sell your house for the highest possible price, right? Well, with record low inventory right now and high buyer demand, a lot of houses are selling for even more than the asking price. So today's sellers are in a better position right now than ever before to get the most amount of money for their house. And that's what we're going to talk about in today's video. So stick around. If we haven't met yet, I'm Melanie Van Buskirk, and I'm glad that you're here with me today to talk about pricing your house right in today's market. Statistics from the National Association of Realtors show that 46% of houses right now are selling above the listing price today. But even in today's market, it's still important to set the right asking price. Pricing too high or too low can have a negative impact on that final sale price that you end up getting. And here's why. The price you set for your house is sending a message to potential buyers. If you price it too low, you might raise questions about your house condition or appear to be personally in a desperate situation or lead buyers to assume something's wrong with the property itself or the neighborhood. Not to mention, you could just be leaving money on the table, which decreases your buying power when you turn around and buy your next house. On the other hand, if you price too high, you could deter buyers. You most likely very well will deter buyers. And you're going to miss out on buyers that aren't searching in that higher bracket where your house actually should be in the price range that they're searching at, but they're not going to find your house because it's overpriced. When you overprice it and it sits without selling, you may have to do a price drop. Do that to try to reignite interest in your house, but a price drop can really be seen as a red flag for some buyers who are going to wonder why the price was reduced and what that means. What does it mean about the house? What does it mean about your personal situation? Did you just get into some sort of crisis? Are you desperate? So the longer a house sits on the market, the more it becomes sort of stigmatized and buyers are going to see that fact that it hasn't sold quickly in this hot market as leverage in their favor. So let's think of pricing your house as a target. Your aim is to go right for that center bullseye. And you don't want to go too high, you don't want to go too low, but you want to hit right on that market value. So pricing your house based on market conditions increases the chance that you're going to have more people who are actually interested in buying the house. That makes it more likely that you're going to see multiple offers. And when that happens, you'll likely even get a higher sales price than what you are asking for. Plus, when houses are priced right, they tend to sell pretty quickly. I always say you want to price it to sit or price it to sell. So there are several factors that go into pricing your house and balancing them is the key to pricing it right. So we've, we're going to need to determine the value of the houses in your specific neighborhood. The more targeted matches you can find, the better. You're going to want to find the current demand or understand the current demand for houses in today's market. This absolutely helps in pricing. And the condition of your house and how it compares to others that have sold recently in your market, in your direct neighborhood, and the way that the condition affects the value. A real estate professional, like myself, is going to balance out these factors, take everything into account for you to give you the information that you need to make an informed decision when you're pricing your house because ultimately you do set the price. Even in a seller's market like we have right now, pricing your house right is very critical and it should, you should not rely on just guesswork or just come up with a number off the top of your head based on what you feel like you want to net. I owe this much and I want to make this much, so we'll just price it like that. So I encourage you 
to work with a trusted real estate advisor to make sure that your house is actually priced right and sells fast. I've included a link in the description to a free guide called A Step-by-Step -Step Guide to Selling Your Home that was published by the National Association of Realtors and I made it really easy for you to get a copy of it. Just click the link and you'll be able to download it and keep it forever, read it whenever you like. If you've enjoyed this video and found it useful, give it a like, please. And also, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe and the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. That's it for now. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.